Are you looking for a place to stay in Honduras, but you're struggling to find a place that is safe, reliable, and beautiful? Yes, I live in Connecticut two years because I want to study my master's degree. Do you want to stay in the mountains in the Goldilocks zone? Where you're going to be in between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius? <laughs> because I have this cute and beautiful dog. This is the place for you. Hello, and I am delighted to be accompanied by a new guest. So let's go ahead and get to know her. Let's ask her some questions about herself. So can you please tell us what is your name? Where are you from? And what do you do? What job do you have? Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Delia Fajardo. I'm from here, from Tucigalpa. I'm a teacher. I teach teachers. <laughs> okay, the teacher of teachers. <laughs> that needs to be done, right, to make sure the teaching quality is good. Let's talk a little bit more about yourself and why you have this property, this Airbnb. Can you tell us a little bit about your experiences abroad and such? Yes, I live in Connecticut two years because I went to study my master's degree. And then I went to Spain to study my PhD degree. So I'm used to hang out with foreign people. I love to do that. I love to meet people. And that's why I put this Airbnb, because I, I like to receive people, to, to know people and to share and learn from people, you know? Is there a specific type of person you like receiving into your Airbnb? Um, uh, maybe people that likes... Uh, uh, cultural activities like reading, go to the theater, but also dog owners <laughs> because I have this cu uh, cute and beautiful dog. What is her name? Uh, her name is Hejin. Hejin, hello Hejin. Yeah, hello. It's a Korean name. I don't know what it means, but it sounds pretty, so I like it. <laughs> well, she has been an absolute delight in the time that I've been here so far. Yes, yes. If you bring your dog, you're going to be very welcome. Hejin, hello Hejin. You also have a service on the side, is that correct? Yes, I have this accommodation on Airbnb. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this accommodation. What is the location of this loft that you have on Airbnb? Well, this is very close to Tegucigalpa, six minutes from there. So it's very close and it's in, in the way to go to Valle de Angeles, which is a touristic place. What is the name of this place here? Yes, it's El Chimbo, and this one precisely is called Lomas de Santa Lucia. Okay, Lomas de Santa Lucia in El Chimbo, which is between Tegucigalpa and Valle de los Angeles. Okay, exactly. so let's talk a little bit about this neighborhood. Is there a lot of restaurants and coffee shops, and what is nearby? Well, there are many coffee shops uh, and rest local restaurants, for example, Cafe Jardin. They have really good food and uh, a very nice menu to, to enjoy, like, well, coffee, desserts, uh, main plates, anything. So most of the places nearby are kind of smaller. This is a little community in between a big city and a, and a very touristy place, right? Little by little, it's getting more uh, populated, let's just say. But that's one of the big benefits of being here, right? Yes, yes, that you are not in the city, but you are close to the city, so it's very convenient. Yeah, I noticed when I drove from Tegucigalpa coming up here, on normal driving conditions, you can drive up really quickly, maybe 10 minutes coming up here, and really escape the confusion of the city. So that is a great benefit of being here in this location. Let's talk a little bit about the details of your accommodation. What type of features does your accommodation have? Well, this is a private uh, apartment, and it has one kitchen, one bedroom, a lounge place, this terrace, and as you can see, it's a very nice view. <laughs> yeah, this terrace has a great view looking out into those mountains, isn't it? Exactly, and it's private, and it's very quiet. Uh, it's a very nice place to rest. 
um, and uh, to enjoy the sun, and you can go for a walk out around the neighborhood. So inside the loft, this is an actual real loft, right? So it has yes. the bedroom on the top floor and then everything below, right? Exactly, exactly. So it's uh, the space is small, but it's uh, very organized. It's quite organized, and I've noticed that there is a lot of the amenities you need to have a very good stay. So the microwave, the toaster, pretty much the full kitchen with everything you possibly would need for a short even to long stay. I'm staying for up to a week. One thing that is definitely worth mentioning is Delia brought in this toaster oven. And here we have some cookies. There were some ginger cookies and some real tasty cookies that were, I'm not sure where they're from, but they were really good. Here we had a selection of teas, manzanillo, manzanilla, which is the, the tea that calms you down, the chamomile. And then we have some black teas, Ceylon tea with some flavors. And there was a big variety of Nescafe here with coffees, like instant coffees, hot chocolate. We have some sugar here and a cafe de olla, which is a local type of coffee, instant coffee and oil. So we have it all here. We had it all in this accommodation. It's very comfortable to have the sleeping area on top and then below everything else to work and to eat and to dine. It's an actual real loft. I've seen places on Airbnb where they say loft and it's just one tiny room and there's there's not two levels and I'm like, that's not a loft. <laughs> so I, I really appreciate you getting that right. <laughs> staying here at your loft. Can you tell us what is the average cost or charge that you have on Airbnb for one day or one night here? Okay, one night will be like $30 and then for a week uh, will be uh, $180 and for a month one, uh, $400. Okay, so that's uh, really, really great prices for what you're getting here. Maximum value for a really good price. So I really think this is a good option for people that are looking to come here to check out the area, which is Southern 
Honduras and to maybe go to Valle de los Angeles or go to other nice places. So moving on to what we just talked about, which is entertainment options, things that people like doing in the area and maybe that are near your loft. Can you give us maybe two or three places that people like to visit nearby? First of all, Valle de Angeles is a touristic town. It has uh, many restaurants, many coffee shops, and you can go there to buy your souvenirs, uh, very good quality of souvenir. I mean, Valle de Angeles is famous for that, for the souvenirs. And also you can go hiking or riding horses. Let's first talk about that. The English translation for the non-Spanish speakers, this means the Valley of the Angels. The other places? Santa Lucia, which is closer uh, from here. Santa Lucia is a nice place as well? Yes, it's beautiful. It has such a amazing views. It's an old town also uh, with these uh, rural qualities, you know, coffee shop, restaurants, many food, also some souvenirs. But mm, the most nice thing to do there is to watch the mountains and also a view from the, of the city. You can see Tegucigalpa from there. Ooh, here it is. The name of the town here, Santa Lucia. And, ooh, nice. We're looking at some nice rolling hills from the Mount Cecilia and the Santa Lucia viewpoint going into the back, looking into the Tegucigalpa Valley. Okay, guys. Now, let's go into the city. What are some things to do in the city? I heard there's some good parks in the city area. Yes, uh, there is the El Picacho, which is uh, also uh, like um, um, a small mountain from where you can see the city also. And it's beautiful. Uh, it has coffee shop. Uh, you can eat there. Also, there is a zoo in there, so you can visit the zoo. So I went there actually yesterday, and I was absolutely blown away. That Picacho Park had a great viewing point from before, and when you get to the Christ, if you go to the Christ statue, it's there really is, good. There is the Christ statue, right? Right. <laughs> Don't steal our plants. We will find you. Okay, well, here it is. The majestic man himself. Mr. Cristo. Let's take a look at Cristo from below and see the other viewpoint going over there to the other extreme of the park. Ooh, nice view. Pretty sweet. Besides the park, are there some nice places to visit and to check out the cultural scene in Tegucigalpa? Uh -huh. There is the National Museum where they have expositions, they have concerts, and you can go just to have a coffee there. Um, also, there is this um, theater called Memorias, Memoria Theater, and they have a food program for the year. And so you can, if you want to enjoy a presentation, you can go there. Besides the theater and the museum, there's a famous restaurant in the downtown area as well, right? Yes, this famous restaurant called El Patio, and uh, they have a, a mural, uh, a painting mural, and the, the waitresses are uh, dressing <laughs> the typical dress of... Of Honduran people. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome place to visit while being here. I might have to check that one out myself as well. So your loft, does it have a higher level of safety from where it's located? Yes, a lot because we have uh, um, gate guards and you, you cannot enter if, uh, nobody, if you don't have authorization. So that's a very important um, feature of this uh, area, of this neighborhood. This is a private community, and yeah, I noticed when I had to come in, I had to register my name, and people can't come in without having, like she said, authorization. Besides that, is this area, El Chimbo, it's a pretty safe area, right? It's far from the capital. Yes, and is that, that's also a very nice thing uh, about living here, because in the city, maybe you can feel... Uh, uh, that it is dangerous, but not. It's less dangerous than in the past. But here, uh, everybody knows each other. Like, you know who lives close to you. So in that sense, it's very safety too. Right, so it has kind of the small town feel, yeah. but not as 
dangerous as a big city would be. You mentioned that Tegucigalpa is safer now than before. Yes, of course. Uh, precisely in order to make it attractive to tourism, the government has uh, improved that situation. That's great. Well, it seems like a lot of the countries nearby are actually improving in safety as well. For example, El Salvador and such. Yes. So that's great. That's great to know. It's good for all the local people as well. One hugely attractive part of this area of Honduras and also your loft is the weather. Can you talk a little bit about the weather? What are the typical lows and highs throughout the year? Well, it goes from 18 to 28. And that's Celsius, right? Yes, yes. It's very nice. It's very warm and nice. It's very comfortable. Very warm in the day and cool at night. So for people that don't know Celsius Fahrenheit, that's about mid-60s to mid-80s. And I have absolutely loved it, as you can tell, wearing very comfortable clothes. And it's great. Looking behind us, we can tell that it is not the middle of rainy season. It actually is going to be the end of rainy season, as a rainy season is typically from May until around the end of November, right? November, yes. Uh, the end of November, the rainy season stops. All right, so it doesn't rain too often the, from December up until about March or April, right? Mm, there are some uh, tropical showers. I mean, that's normal, hmm. but they are not that um, abundant. And right, it's not too consistent, right? It just happens quickly and stops. Exactly. So that's very common for the tropical areas. Let's chat a little bit about the foreign populations and about the foreign community. Are there any foreigners that live nearby you? Yes, here uh, we have some European people, that, are, that they are my neighbors. <laughs> okay, so we have some neighbor expats that live here also from Europe. Yeah, How about in the downtown or the, in the Tegucigalpa area? Yes, there are a lot of foreign people living there, In the, for, for example, Lomas de Lijaro, San Ignacio. They love living here. I mean, I know some people that... Uh, they prefer to come to Honduras than other places, other countries in Central America. I was kind of blown away, actually, now that I've been here for about six weeks. Being that your property, your loft, is located here in Alchimbo, outside of Tegucigalpa, the main capital, and between there and the uh, Valle de, de Los Angeles, is it necessary to have your own private vehicle to come out here? No, no. It's a good idea. I mean, if you have it, you can. it's better if you can use it, but there is public transportation that you can use to get here, or you can uh, take an Uber. Right, Ubers are quite affordable also yes. in this country, right? Yes, yeah. there are many options, not just Uber, actually. Okay. okay, great. Well, that's good to know for people that maybe don't want to you know, take their own vehicle. Of course, there's not as many people as adventurous as me. I drove here on my own bike. What are the main features or benefits that makes your property, your loft here in El Chimbo so unique? Well, it's unique because it's uh, very close to the city and it has all the features you need. It has uh, an office space and anything you need, I will provide it. So if you need something in the kitchen, I will help you to get it. <laughs> and I've noticed that as soon as I've been here, I said, oh, it's a little warm for me during the daytime. I take naps in the day and she brought a fan immediately. So it's been great. So you, it, it has great features and it's outside the city, which means it's quiet, right? It's quiet and you can listen to the birds all day or so Speaking nice. of the birds, what, what, are these, what are these here for? <laughs> bring this to him for beer washing. I mean, you can stay the whole day watching birds here. <laughs> so is there a lot of beautiful nature to see by and lots of beautiful birds in this area? Yes, uh, I've seen uh, guardabarrancos. Well, like five different kind of uh, birds you can watch from here, from this uh, beautiful terrace. <laughs> <laughs> Suffice to say, you can hear some really interesting and beautiful birds in the area and the nature here is some of the biggest benefits. Also, there are a uh, convenience store, pharmacy, a coffee shop. The area is growing, you know, it's growing and getting very attractive for tourists. Mm. So this is a very convenient area, far from the city, so not very loud, mm -hmm. not dangerous, it's very safe, quiet. And how about the weather? Like you said, one of the biggest benefits is probably the weather, right? Yes, yes, because it's uh, not that cold, not that hot, and so on. And, and also inside the house, uh, if, uh, if you are down, it's very fresh. Um, and if you open the doors, yeah, there will be like air flowing. It's very nice. Yeah, the airflow is quite good in the uh, loft, the second floor and first floor both. It's very good. Okay, well, thank you so much, Delia. 
It is fantastic getting all this information from you about your loft, your property. And I really hope to see you guys contact her and find her property to come stay here. If you're looking at finding a place with great weather outside the big city in the central part of Central America. Are there any last things you want to mention to the people watching now? Yes, that if you come here, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy your uh, stay here. I'm a really good um, host. I will help you to enjoy your um, vacation. All of that is true. It's been very good for me so far. And you've got my generic expats guarantee on that. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> that I found outside of the Tegucigalpa metro area. It's in a place called Altimbo, a fantastic little two floor loft that has everything you need. I've been here for a week and I've really, really loved it. It's time for me to go on to the next country and I'm super excited. The princess and I are heading to Nicaragua today. Let's go to Leon. Leon.